talking about CBDCs once again, and I'm talking about this because it's becoming more and more. I mean, they're pushing it and they're implementing it. Um, like I've talked about this a couple years ago, early 2021, um, FedNow was introduced and started to be adapted by all of the banks around the country, around the U.S., and pushed by the Federal Reserve, that kind of stuff. And it, the same thing is going on with other central banks. And CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, implementation. Um, China's way ahead of the curve. They started implementing this stuff in 2016. And now if you have any experience, you know anyone else who's had actually hands-on experience over there, you'll see what it truly is and how detrimental and how this whole social credit thing is a real deal. Um, it's so bad and it's coming here and it's being implemented like right now as we speak on a low level, but they're trying to get the infrastructure in, trying to get foundation in. So all of a sudden once we're there, it's gonna to be tough to go back and undo, just like everything. So for example, um, it's CBDCs are not like digital money. It's not like we've been using digital money for 40 years or 14 years or 24 years, whatever they wanna say. Because if you use your credit card, you use your debit card, if you you know buy online, that kind of stuff, it's all digits. Yes, it is, but that all is checked. Those are digits that are checked by banks, by checked by um, whoever's the, the seer, overseer of those funds. And then there, the credit card company, whatever it is, says, okay, well this you know person's trying to charge this amount, $2,000. Then once they're trying to get the transaction to go through on the retail level or whatever level it is, and then they check with there, just you know automatically, it's like uh, hands-on, it's instantaneously. And then they get this pushback, yes, they can clear that, those funds, for that amount. And that's it. CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, are not just that. There's so much more. They're, they're track and trace and control all of your transactions, all of your purchases, um, even more than that, uh, you will not be allowed to purchase certain items from certain areas at certain times or just certain items, period, because it's, well, you know, Mr. Smith has had, um, he's bought, you know, he's bought two guns over the last uh, six months. We no longer will allow him to purchase any more firearms for another maybe a year, whatever the case is. Or uh, Mr. Smith has purchased um, 200 rounds of 9 millimeter ammunition last week, you know, seven days ago. So because of that, we're not gonna allow this transaction to go through because he's trying to purchase more ammo, whether it's the same caliber or not. I mean, I'm just throwing these out here so the top of my head, but it's gonna be so much more detrimental. It's gonna get down to the deal because once they implement they try to implement this thing in the, the whole uh, Affordable Care Act, which pe people know as by Obamacare. Well, yes, because everyone's involved, it's almost like socialized medicine now, which everyone's like, it's so great. Um, in Canada, that's what they have. Well, if you've ever had a hands-on experience in Canada with socialized medicine, you'll see how detrimental and how horrible that actually is. I have had hands-on experience with that. I had gone to the hospital in Canada, so I know what it's really like and it's not like what's being sold and what people believe, no matter what they say. But anyways, I'll digress from that. Um, it's, it's so much more, it's gonna be so much more control on that aspect of it as, well, Mr. Smith, he is, his BMI is out of whack, out of range. He has gained 25 pounds in the last year, and now Mr. Smith is no longer allowed to purchase red meat or now Mr. Smith is no longer to purchase from these bakeries, or now Mr. Smith is no longer to, uh, able to buy um, out at these other locations, these fast food locations, or buy at these restaurants, or purchase these items from the grocery store, whatever, that kind of stuff. And it will be come down to your medications. You know, Mr. Smith has not taken his medications like he's supposed to, so we're not gonna allow him to X, Y, Z, whatever. Um, you won't be allowed to purchase from certain places because of maybe what you have put on social media or maybe of how you've talked to somebody in the government, you know, the powers that should not be. 
um, whether it was right or wrong, or they took it the right or wrong way, or what you said offended someone, or what you posted offended someone, or um, what do you you had done 15 years ago when you were a 15 year old, or when you were a 10 year old, or when you were 20? Now, because of this, you cannot do these certain items, purchase these certain things, go to these certain locations, that kind of stuff. Um, you won't be allowed to spend over in a certain amount. Well, Mr. Smith, because of X, Y, Z, whatever they say, um, for his safety, for your safety, for the whole society's safety, Mr. Smith is not allowed to spend over a certain amount every week or uh, every day or once a month, whatever it is, and it'll come down to the whole carbon credit, carbon usage thing. Uh, Mr. Smith is not allowed uh, to go more than three miles from his home so because he's further than three miles away, we're not going to allow this transaction to go through, no matter what the transaction is for, because you're, not, you're supposed to be within three miles or five miles of your home. Mr. Smith is outside of that area that he's told to be in, so no longer able to purchase beyond those boundaries. It'll be something like that. Um, you're not allowed to use certain items. So Mr. Smith is, was caught going to a certain thing for whatever, a casino, a liquor store, a uh, bar, a um, whatever it is. And now because Mr. Smith did that, he's no longer allowed to um, use these certain items or purchase these certain items, whether it, it has to do with that or not. It, it'll just be some form of punishment. Um, uh, and it'll be limited, you'll be limited. How many items you can purchase? Like, I, like Mr. Smith, because of his BMI or his weight or whatever, and he's on these medications, and he's been taking these medications, but because of that, Mr. Smith is no longer allowed to purchase pizza or sausage or um, whatever you want to call it, uh, anything that's fattening or heavy in sugar or whatever. Mr. Smith transactions will not go through for that anymore because of his BMI or his weight or the medications he's on, that kind of stuff. It's for his safety and his protection, of course. It's the way it's always so. So I'm going into this, and I want to say, think of this. That's just, that's just one realm of it. Now it's going to be sold. This whole CBDC thing is going to be sold, since we have currency, as it, we need to implement this. We need to do this because everything's out of, out of whack, out of the range, that kind of stuff. Inflation's out of control. We're, we're um, mid-inflation. Now we're hitting hyperinflation, and now it's, it's just it's so bad. The only thing we know to do is implement the CBDCs and it'll make everything better. There'll be no more inflation. There'll be no more of this. There'll be no more penalties, no more fees, that kind of stuff. That's going to be, it's going to be sold because, well, there will be, and there will be so much more detrimental, it's much worse, but you won't see it. Just like taxes. If everyone had to pay taxes uh, quarterly, instead of having them taken right out of their paychecks every week or every two weeks or however they get paid, once a month, twice a month, the whole thing would change. People would see how much is being stolen and taken from people. They would no longer pay that stuff. There would be uproar. There would be resistance. People would start to see the reality of these things, but because it's not there, out of sight, out of mind. I mean, it's just like if you have a, a, a young child, take it out of their sight, and it goes out of their mind. Like a, a puppy, playing with a puppy. They're, they're interested in this item they should be not chewing on or whatever. We'll remove it for a second in a heartbeat, out of sight, out of mind. No longer, it's no longer there, just like taxes. You no longer have to deal with that monthly or quarterly or whatever. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. It's just taken out of your paycheck. Out of sight, out of mind. And that's why it's like that. Um, so I'm not saying this whole rant to try to say we need to change the whole tax code. Well, absolutely. But what I'm saying is CBDCs out of sight, out of mind, no more able to hold the, these paper dollars, which I'm not saying paper dollars are great, they're way better than going just digital, absolutely. You spend as much cash as you can for everything you can, right now while you still can. But anyways, out of sight, out of mind, it's easier to save money, easier to save and not spend as much or waste as much if you are, are spending cash all the time because you see it dwindle, you see it go away. Without that, just digits, buying stuff online, or just swiping a plastic card, out of sight, out of mind. You really don't know. You really don't see it. And that's the way taxes work also. Um, 
And now beyond that, they're going to put a time limit on these things, on these credits. Think of it as expiration dates. Um, think of coupons as expiration dates. Video games, you're playing video games, um, and you get video game credits. Well, you're going into a, an arcade place for video games. Well, yes, you have you have these these coins or whatever it is the game you're playing, these funds, this money, what do you want to call it? You have this, but after the game's done, it's over. They expire. It's done. It's over. Um, gift cards. Gift cards. You you go purchase gift cards. You give them to people for holidays, birthdays, whatever it is. Those are kind of expiration dates. Maybe it's maybe it's a year from now. Maybe it's six months from now. Maybe it's three years from now. Whatever. Uh, Kohl's. Kohl's. We're in the season, holiday season. People shopping at Kohl's. There's Kohl's cash that I, I believe you buy a certain amount within that a week or two weeks or whatever. Then you get so many dollars of Kohl's cash, so $15 or $10 or $5 that you're allowed to spend, but you have to spend it within this window of 10 days or 14 days or 8 days or whatever it is they give you, or they expire. If you don't spend it within there, they expire. Um, just like Amazon credits. So if you belong to Amazon Prime and you're, you choose slower shipping because you're well, I'll get a, a dollar or a two dollar credit so I can purchase something digital, so I can rent a movie or so I can purchase a movie digitally you know, from Amazon or what do you want to do with it? Those expire. So you get these, you get them built up throughout the year or months or whatever and they have an expiration date on it. And it will say, well, you have $7, you have $15, you have $20 but you have this many, two dollars, or five of these, or ten of these, are due to expire by such and such date, which is maybe a week or two from now. And then the other ones are going to expire another, you know, week down the road or month down the road. So they're all set to expire, and that's where the CBDC thing is going to be set up too. Not right away, probably not right away, but it's going to get to that because they want to stop the velocity. Because once they can stop the velocity, they can then implement what they want to control the velocity. And then, once they can control the velocity, that means the usage of money, that means they can control everything. They can control uh, how much they're taking in and how much you're allowed to spend, when you're allowed to spend it, that kind of stuff. It's, that's, it's all about this control aspect. So uh, this is all I had to say. I just, I just want to get people thinking about this. Think of, use, use cash for everything you can every purchase you can at all times, um, absolutely. And then um, I'm a big guy for gold and silver and assets. Um, if you can afford land, um, tools, uh, just learning new skills, new knowledge, that kind of stuff. Um, get closer to the community, get closer with your friends, uh, the local sheriff if you can. This is something I've not done yet, but have a meet and greet with the local sheriff in the community and get to know them or her, to get to know them. If they're good people, then you know. If they're not, then you know. Um, try to work locally with other people that are making a difference and, and a good difference, that kind of stuff. So anyways, I, I know I've talked about this many times, but I think this is so serious and, and a lot of people, so many people have no idea what's coming because they're not going to find out till it's too late or almost too late. And they will have no time to prepare. So, anyways, I, I thank you for watching this. If you like this, hit like, share, subscribe. And as always, protect yourself, protect your family, protect your health, and protect your wealth.